Thank you. And there were multiple legal efforts to spare the life of Marcellus Williams. Questions were raised over a lack of DNA evidence, the credibility of witnesses, and whether race was a factor at his trial. Our legal lens expert, Brian Krupp and attorney Andrea McNary, joining us live in studio to talk about the legal challenges in a case that has really gained national, international attention, in fact. Thanks for being here. No problem, absolutely. First question, I guess, is what was going on today? The arguments before the U.S. Supreme Court. So, yes, there was, there was two appeals, but really it came down to three issues. One was race a factor in jury deliberations and selection. Two was the underlying evidence um, reliable or tainted. And then three, the uh, witness testimony reliability that actually essentially convicted Mr. Williams. People were wondering all day because we were waiting to hear from the U.S. Supreme Court. Could an execution actually be carried out if an appeal were pending and we didn't hear from them? So Mr. Williams has has exhausted all of his appeals. Um, there still could be a path to stop the execution if the governor uh, decides to change his mind and grant more time for an investigation or clemency or his team found another uh, piece of evidence and was able to file a new appeal. But really the, mis m the US Supreme Court denying the appeal uh, or the uh, plea to them today really opens the path to his execution. And Governor Parson, as you know, has stood firm on his position that this was gonna move forward. One question that has developed in this case is, should an original conviction stand when the underlying evidence was contaminated and we've heard about the DNA not being linked to him. So that's the real question and no matter how you feel about this particular issue, the reason I think it's gotten world attention is because you want to believe that the uh, pursuit is of the truth and not of the conviction. So the question of the underlying evidence being tainted really goes to, you know, the prosecutors uh, burden to prove things beyond a reasonable doubt. And if the evidence used to do that was tainted, is that verdict reliable? And you bring up the prosecution. That is an interesting part about this case. Uh, prosecutor's office, the one that handled this case involving Marcellus Williams, is now calling for clemency due to the underlying issues. We know Wesley Bell was fighting this. It is very interesting because you usually hear about prosecutors um, trying to uphold convictions and stop them from being overturned. Here I think you're seeing a real sense of um, a pursuit of the truth or at least an acknowledgement um, of changing times and, and changing scientific methods and an ability to or a willingness to go back and look at to make sure that uh, convictions are, are right. Well, this case has just garnered attention. We hear about a million signatures that have been signed uh, in defense of Marcellus Williams. But as we just heard from Jeff Bernthal, they are moving forward with that execution. This they day. are absent. Something extraordinary happened at this moment. Uh, it looks like it will happen. All right. Andrew McNary with Brown and Crouppen, our legal lens expert. It is nice to have you in studio. Thank you for your insight. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me.